I was a hobbyist here, just not even a producer, but a noisemaker. Never even had a thought that I'd become a professional in it. And it's just synonymous with, with Gamecock Athletics. Zandstorm, it had weird, magical, crazy reactions, and I was pretty much like trying to find the candid camera somewhere. Helsinki is 4,708 miles from Columbia. The capital of Finland and the capital of South Carolina are near total opposites, from industry to air temperature. But a storm that was born on the Baltic sweeps over williams Bryce Stadium every fall Saturday. I was studying at Polytechnic in Turku, Finland, telecommunication and like uh, production economics there. I never got good at playing live instruments. Uh, electricity is what allows me to make music. I went home from clubbing and I wanted to get those vibes out of my head that I experienced at those clubbing nights to my own music. I actually had a, a really long time before I made the final version of Sandstorm. Like a year and a half or so before that, I was tinkering with the doo 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 uh, sound and rhythm. You can get a little tone in, do you can get yeah, put it in your head, you can do a little humming. Probably wouldn't be a hum, it's more like a do 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 I'm not going to do the rest of it. The Gamecocks take the field and as underdogs against the Ole Miss Rebels. You're producing a game from that position. You're trying to give your team the best chance to win. And we had a list of what we call hot songs when you, you play when there's a momentum shift in a game. And Sandstorm was on there. You kind of felt that moment coming. That moment happened 15 years ago. Fourth ranked Ole Miss, unranked South Carolina. Clinging to a six point lead, the Gamecocks sought some sort of, yes, spur. It came down to the final possession. We had a shot to win it, and our defense, which was the strength of that team, was on the field at the time. And that's sort of the birth, if you call it. And the raid breaks out in Columbia. can't put it in words. I was coaching with Coach Spurrier when they played Sandstorm the first time. It got pretty loud, and then I think they had to call a timeout, get a play in. We played it right back over again, which was the unusual part, and the crowd just took it even to another level. Fourth down, upcoming with 1.22 to go. I kind of got a little frightened because the press box started shaking a little bit, and we win the game. The Gamecocks with the biggest upset in the history of williams Bryce Stadium. Over the next decade, that Scandinavian sand danced its way into every corner of Gamecocks country. <laughs> we may. It's funny. I go to a South Carolina wedding, I hear sandstorm. It's just kind of, it is what it is. A techno beat that reverberated from the Atlantic to the Appalachians, finally reaching a former South Carolina assistant coach. I was coaching at Oklahoma and um, I really wanted this job. I would walk in the kitchen in our house and my wife and kids would immediately start playing Sandstorm. Marcus Lattimore committed to play uh, for South Carolina. So it was at a church and he announced he was going to South Carolina and then Sandstorm started playing. And I just looked at my wife and I was like, that, that's not normal, like this is kind of a thing now. Every school has their auditory imprint, but precious few have a rave, a sonic hurricane that can impact the field of play. I remember my first time, it was like my heart was just beating, the crowd was going crazy, the towels and stuff. It's really just something as a team where we all come together. This is our last chance, let's really dominate. Since that day in 2009, the Gamecocks have posted twice more home wins than losses. All that was missing from that home was the creator himself, Darud. Now, he's part of the family. Darud, we got a special guest here. Coach Beamer, Hi. what's up, my man? Uh, we go way back, how are you? I am uh, great. We had a great night at williams Bryce Stadium the last time you were over here. Last fall, a Finnish DJ once again ruled the place they call Willie B. 
but this time in person. I got to go and play the track. I also got to experience it from the sideline. I basically got sweat flying on me from the players. And yes, South Carolina won. I remember meeting him on the field after the game as I was walking off and telling him if I'm ever in Finland, I'm gonna look him up. That's the beauty of what I get to do. I'm so grateful for everything. Sandstorm and through my career and efforts, it's hard to put it into words. The song has become so big that I can't always feel that I can claim the ownership of the whole thing. It's become its own phenomenon. It's definitely gotten me to places I probably wouldn't have gone otherwise. I think he was blown away by it. I don't think he had any idea, really, the magnitude of the song that he created here in Columbia, South Carolina, and in Williams-Brice Stadium.